What is going on guys? It is your man with the plan official bloke here bringing you episode 1 of my top 10 teams to use on FIFA 15 in head to head and all competitive sites such as Gfinity, Game Battles, Gamer Saloon and World Gaming. In episode 1 you can see I'm using France in a 4-3-1-2. Uh, the final team I actually do use um, in this episode is um, starting on up is Benzema, Lacazette, Griezmann, Pogba, Valbuena, Kabar, Dinne, uh, Mangala, Veron, and Sanya, and of course Hugo Lloris in the goal. That's my sub bench as well. And a lot of people will be like, why are you using France? Well, you've got a front three which pacey as folk. Your midfield's all kip strong, they, look, they can all pass the ball. And your defence is solid bar, Sanya really. Who, but, and you've got one of the better keepers in the game as well. But a lot of the keepers are technically just really shit in this game, because we know how FIFA 15 is. Keepers can have a good rating, but be utter shit in the game. But let's go. Let's start with the front three. Link it up. Benzema, Lacazette, and then watch, watch, watch Lacazette do his skill run. Step overs. Ronaldo chops. Back again. Gets past the defender. Step overs again. Jukes him out. And then easy bottom rack. Easy bottom corner finish. And with Lacazette, you can do that. They've all got the front three. They've all got four star skills. So as you can do skill runs, really. Heel chops, roulettes. Um, uh, Berber spins, the light step overs, the lights of all that. And then you can see Pogba because he's passing ability all the top ball straight to Karim Benzema. Like I said, it's coming back, but he leaves it, and Benzema has a simple chip over his keeper. Um, Benzema, Lacazette, and Griezmann is probably one of the best front threes I've used. I'd say Griezmann's much more suited to the camera than he is left wing. Um, so if you're going to play Griezmann, I have Griezmann on this game, I highly suggest putting on putting him in from into a cam instead of a left wing. And once again, quick passing, like I said, it's going through on goal, easy as you like. And a lot of these goals you'll see me hitting people on the counter attacks or working it from defence or even getting these shitty, shitty goals like that. Uh, short corner, Mangala to Griezmann, and Griezmann scores a header. Yes, Griezmann scored a header at the front post past Courtois because his keepers are utter shat on this game. And once again, quick build up play straight to Lacazette from Lacazette to Griezmann. Griezmann's going to finish that, like, it's nothing. So, from me uh, struggling in defence, Quick counter, getting the ball, passing it round, and once again, again, Pogba to Griezmann, Griezmann to Kabar, Kabar back to Benzema, Benzema to Griezmann, Griezmann to Lacazette. Fantastic teamwork, and Benzema's from one goal. As you can see, his keeper comes out just a bit, and Benzema's got a simple right foot finesse into the bottom corner. And that, that front three is extremely good, and the midfield three is, is pretty much amazing. They can all pass, like I've said, and it can set them all on quick counters, and they're all pretty much fast. Every single one of these players on this team are fast. And uh, well, pretty much over bar Kabar, he's probably one of the slow midfield players in this France team. But you have to use him because he's got good free kicks and because his range of passing abilities. And once again, another quick move again over top ball. Griezmann comes back inside, and it's an easy finish, really. No keeper's going to stop that unless it's fucking nice at, unless he has 20 noise in the goal, which that's going to happen either. So once again, France is probably one of the better teams, uh, but. The only downside to this team, which I'm going to have to say is honest, um, sometimes Sanya lets you down, but because this game's pretty much based on pace, really, um, a lot of the time you are going to get hit on the counter attacks if, if when you dominate possession like I do. Well, I, I dominate possession, there's no lie about that. So when Sanya comes up, pushes forward, uh, sometimes it does uh, leave a massive uh, space on my right hand side my box where he's going to score into that and that's a beautiful goal there by Benzema quick play like I said I made that run that diagonal run to get Benzema into that space and I go around this keeper again and once again Lacazette finds Benzema Benzema's just going to do a fake shot turn left on foot into his left foot and finish that to the bottom right corner and that's what Benzema can do I say Benzema's more of a complete striker in this game I'd say Griezmann and Lacazette have, just got have all got pure pure pace and Benzema's more of the he's got 84 pace he's got good heading he's got good finishing He's going to do everything for you. And this is another good goal, another good goal here. Vision with the over-top ball. Fake shot stop. Coming onto his right foot. And it's humiliating the defender and the keeper. And these are all on a site called Gamer Saloon. Uh, competitive um, dollar matches. And I've played about 25 games. And I think I've won 24. All using France. And I think I earned about $600 from it. And once again, another short corner. These short corners are, short corners are quite overpowered. Uh, just making sure Pogba was at the front post, head it in, no one's going to save that. Intercepting the ball, Lacazette to Benzema, Benzema on the volley! Making it 3-0, making it 
And I think in this game, this guy was getting pissed off because I wasn't actually battering him 24 7 of the game. And he actually ended up rage quitting. But once again, Wackerzet for the over top ball. Benzema takes a touch into the bottom corner of the goal. His keeper did get a touch onto it, but it, but it wasn't good enough because Benzema had too much power on it. And once again, Benzema, like I said, I'm just going to keep on saying him because he's that good. Like I said, bottom corner finish. What, what more can you ask for? Um, sometimes I did get caught on the counter attack, but that's like any that's like any FIFA. When you're battering someone, you know what FIFA's like. It's going to fuck you over. Griezmann, look at this. Pat, look at that run by Pogba. Pogba was probably one of the better midfield free players I used. He's six foot plus. He's got four star skills. He's got the long shot trait. A lot of stuff like that. Bang! Bottom corner. Keep it even move. It's like a fucking illusion. Pogba shot. Woodoom! Right into the bottom corner, and no one's going to save that at all. And once again, another short corner. Pogba, uh, sorry, Digne to Sanya. Sanya to um, a CDM. Pogba to Griezmann. Digne, Digne, sorry, back to Pogba. And that's another fantastic work goal. Some people may actually hate Scruffy. But when he did all that passing in the mid into the box and then got a pass across goal, well, he should be he should be defending better. And that's another piece of skill by Benzema. Heel chopping, thinking I'm going left. He teammates and Benzema's got an easy tapping into the right because keepers are utter shot. Again, Lacazette to Benzema. Benzema's through on goal. Sorry, Lacazette's through on goal. And because this game was quite laggy, I did a pass across and make it 3 0. And I think this guy was just screaming down the mark at this time. All 3 0 up. I think I scored I think I scored three pass crosses that game. Because he got he got that pissed off. And then once again, Benzema. But this game was completely laggy, so I'm sorry about this uh, some of the gameplay. But once again, another fantastic work goal by Lacazette. And then fifth minute, cross it over to Benzema, and that's easy as you like. Anyway, it's been it's been official bullock here. If you want to uh, hit that like button, that'd be greatly appreciated. Or hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date in content. Um, thanks for watching. Much appreciated, and goodbye.